Hello, my name is John Z. DeLorean. I was an engineer who loved cars. I lived a pretty amazing life. I'm going to share some of those stories with you. Enjoy. Smokey was one of my best friends and probably the most competitive man I have ever met. However, he never, as long as I knew him, compromised his principles. Not once, no matter what the cost. He built our Pontiac stock cars in the 50s and 60s. Smokey's cars usually won. His top driver was Fireball Roberts, one of the greatest of all time. Fireball got into a bad accident and wound up with third degree burns all over much of his body. Surprisingly, he seemed to be healing quite well until, as Smokey tells it, some idiot doctor told him his genitalia had burned off. Fireball immediately went into a slump, lost his fighting spirit and will to live, and promptly died. Think I would have to? When Kelly left me, I was heartbroken. I couldn't blame her. The GM wives treated her like an outsider, and I worked very long hours. In any event, I was sulking in my house in Bloomfield Hills, when, at about 10 p.m., there was a knock on the door. It was Smokey. He said, When I talked to you on the phone earlier, you sounded terrible. I thought I should fly up and spend some time with you. He stayed until 2.30 in the morning, going through his life experiences and how he had overcome them. How... In retrospect, they faded away. Then, Smokey got in his car, went back to the airport, and flew back to Daytona. What a guy. When Smokey gave his word, that was his bond. But many people took advantage of that. The last time I saw him was a few years back at the Oakland Pontiac Club's annual meeting out west. Smokey could spellbind an audience for hours on end with his experiences. Smokey was a keen judge of people. I loved him and miss him. His friendship was as good as it gets, and I put my hand in the fire for that man. Smokey wrote the most unusual and entertaining book called Best Damn Garage in Town, The World According to Smokey. It was published after his death. When you read it, you'll probably understand why. I was shocked to read that Jam Handy, at GM's behest, was secretly following me and photographing me as they had Ralph Nader. I had the best performance record of any manager in GM's recent history, and suddenly I was a leper. Now I know why. Quoting Smokey. GM had a company in the basement of GM building called Jam Handy. The world thought they made training and sales oriented films. And they did. But they were also the CIA and FBI for GM. The big shooters at GM were looking for a way to blow John's ass out of the water. Because he's on his way to being the youngest president GM ever had. The guys who run the GM CIA were race fans. So when I got to a meeting early or when my meeting started late, I'd go to Jam Handy and read the reports and look at the film of John's adventures. Man, I envied him. All night in a hotel suite on an island off of California with Anne Margaret, Jill St. John, and two other movie stars that I don't even remember their name. The time the various ladies left were noted, and a film of John coming out the next morning looking like he had just finished a week at Greenbrier. Well, I thought, that son of a bitch is tough. He would have been a hell of a racer. A gentleman does not kiss and tell. Oh, yeah, live your dream.